Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm <laughs> down. Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts with another beer review. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Congratulations, New York Giant fan, Patriot fan. Yeah. In honor of the New York Giant victory and the Patriot defeat, I'm going to review a beer from Boston Brewery, the Mighty Oak. Sam Adams. Now this is in the new spring Brewers collection pack for the Cap Collectors. Now this is brewed with East Kent Golding and Fuggle Hops. The malts are Turo Harrington Metcalf and Copeland Pale Malts. This has a 5.7 ABV and it was actually the winner of the Samuel Adams 2011 Beer Lover's Choice campaign. I'm suspecting that this is going to have a lot of malt. I mean it says so right on the what was that? Oh, Choi? Hey! Sorry. We got some smoke. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, horsey. At first glance, this looks like an Irish red. If I was just to look at this from across the room or at a bar or a drinking establishment. Uh, I would definitely think that this was maybe like a Killian's Red. Very, very clear. Does have a nice uh, carbonation presence, some effervescentness. Slightly tan, maybe a beige head. About a one finger head. Definitely getting a lot of caramel, much like an Irish Red. But then I'm getting, I think, that oak, which it almost, to me, has like a smoky-ness uh, to it. I'm kind of getting like a shade of a black lager in here. Interesting. And now I think the vanilla is coming through a little bit. All right, let's just taste this. Getting a lot of caramel, a lot of vanilla. The vanilla really comes through in the middle of the palate. And then it does have like a nice dry finish. Let's take another taste. You know, people say to me, cuts, why do you do all the, you know, the slurping and the clicking on the mouth when you drink that beer? Well, there's drinking and then there's tasting. When you drink, you just, you're just putting it down. But when you taste, you have to let that beer get all around your mouth. You gotta get your palate involved. You need to be aggressive. You need to, to get those flavors to come out sometimes. But this is interesting. It's got a very, very light mouth feel. It's really easy to drink. Getting that oak smell. It almost has like a vanilla, like cream soda taste. But then after you get that vanilla, and as you're, you know, gulping the beer down, when you swallow, the dry finish comes up and then the oak, whoops, and then the oak really comes out. The description on the bottle really hit it right. The taste doesn't linger very long. Um, it kind of just comes and goes right away. It's not gonna be like an IPA where you're kind of like tasting it on your tongue and, uh, you know, it stays with your palate. I guess you could say um, the beer doesn't really have much palate retention. I don't know, I'm, I'm like making up terms here. But the it, the taste just comes and goes. Nice, nice malty taste. It's like bready. Kind of almost reminds me of like a Bach beer in a way and, and Bach beer season is just around the corner. And uh, this is like a nice primer to get ready for these Bach beers that are coming out which are ultra, ultra malty. I don't know, I say go check it out, man. Go check it out. This isn't bad. Um, it's available in the Brewmaster Sam Adams uh, 12 pack. I don't think it's a standalone six pack. Uh, you know, I'll probably get it like a B plus. This is very, very solid beer. Very easy to drink. Nice light mouthfeel. Do it up. Drink one for Brady. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Better luck next year. But the descent starts now. <laughs> Was that like totally stupid? That was a good one.